cheese and she's chloroform. No. I started recording. <laughs> Welcome to the He's Wrong Seas Right podcast. He always does this to me. We have we have guests and I have food because I'm hungry. <laughs> Today with us, we have people who don't know their own names. One of them is named C, a.k.a. Chloroform, and the other one's <laughs> name is E, a.k.a. Cheese. So, you guys do the math. One plus one equals seven. So <laughs> math expert. <laughs> and Cheese, a.k.a. E, is nodding yeah. vigorously. Yeah. So, they're going to be off camera. You don't get to see their... Their faces. They're beautiful, beautiful yeah. faces. They don't like the fact that they have braces, so they don't want anybody to see them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not why. You're just not going to see them because you're fucking weirdos. Right. Exactly. Um, so today, we're going to talk about what it's like to get ready to go into high school. and. Yeah, cheese. Yeah. What's it like? What's, it, is... what's it like your last summer ever yeah, of freedom for I was the rest getting of ready. your life? It's verbatim what i was about to say this is your last summer <laughs> the rest of your life yeah no i have next year no no no, no. it all starts august 7th the uh, end but... of your life <laughs> starts on august yep. 7th how do you feel do you feel like you've accomplished anything in your life yet you just turned 14 yes correct finishing middle school that, that was, your, that, was that was a that was a huge accomplishment and no 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 we, I always have one accomplishment or accomplishment each year and that is finishing that grade <laughs> oh, again and again I mean, and again I guess when you're a child that is your only role did you think you were going to finish middle school I mean once I started eighth grade I saw how difficult it started getting and I was so, like mm. have you ever thought about dropping out. No. Okay. What? <laughs> that's, that's not allowed. Exactly. That is not allowed. No, I'm just. That's not even allowed I, to enter right. the brain I'm just as asking, an option. I'm asking if he's Thank ever it. thought about it on his own. No. I'm sure there were days where you're just like, I wish I didn't have to do this. You guys like going to school for some reason, which is weird. I love going it's to school. It's because their school is amazing. But I hated school. Womp womp. I, I mean, went. I like school mm-hmm. because I'm getting an education. Yes. Which means I can go to college yes. to then earn more money. It's all about money. And you're for going you. to early college. Yeah. Which we're, gonna say, we're not going to say, we're not going to say the name yeah. of it. Um, but you were accepted into an amazing program through the university here, correct? Yes. The and only thing I hate about school is waking up super early for me. You're going to have to wake up early here. No. We just, but no, no. Your, your, new school, your new school starts at 9 a.m. So you 9, get to... 15. Well, we're rounding to 9 a.m. because... to him as a 14-year-old. Because... <laughs> How is he going to get school? The bus? No way. Absolutely not. I'll be driving him. Okay. I've already said go, that. He would have to actually go out of his way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because his dis- a, the district in school is by that... By a veterans park. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's such a confusing thing. Like people want to take the bus to get school. because there's not enough. So everybody that goes to those schools, mm-hmm. there's not a dedicated route. It would take them longer to pick up everybody scattered around mm-hmm. than it is to send you to your districted school with everybody else. Right, and you would have to get on the bus with everybody at seven thirty in the yeah, morning be, to go to your districted high school. You'd basically, be learning what it's like to commute to work in a big city. <laughs> yeah. Which ultimately may end up being exactly what you're going to do later in life. As you have said, you plan to do what? Biomedical engineering. Say it a little louder directly into the microphone. He doesn't have to say microphone. it. I, I turn the game up. We're good. <laughs> Biomedical engineering. Do you understand what that means? You sound like you're answering. <laughs> like, like he's like, reading a script. What, yeah. What's, what's uh, uh, is it Jeopardy? I'll take, I'll take, uh, what's my future for 500, Alex? <laughs> yeah. Right? What is your future, Mr. Cheese? Living. Living. Living, that is, living the dream. Those that are two is, different things. Living the dream. Okay. okay. What, what does your dream entail, Mr. Cheese? He told me that it was buying us a mansion. And buying me a raptor. 
on a boat. No, no, I, I don't no, believe no. that. Okay, like, no, I just, I don't believe that. anything said, that you're saying said, right now. I pay you guys for he taking care of me. That's, that's how you repay me. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> what? He said no. he's going to buy Just me. to be clear, I am your mother and I do not expect any kind of payment for being as such. I have been so, here and I must pay you now. No. No. No, he told me he was going to buy me a Michigan season ticket. No, <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. No, he's just telling lies. He's telling the lies. Thing, the thing that Mr. Cheese has told me is that he plans to make lots of money. He plans to never get married, never have children, but take care of his siblings financially and make sure that their financial woes never. And I think he's going to have a girlfriend within six months. <laughs> he's no, you said my school start. What you said he's lying like two months ago by the time school starts yeah except he only goes to the gym and right does nothing else you're the one who said it he plays he plays minecraft he would have no way to, to meet gym. a girl or boy potentially. well actually there have been some kids at the gym oh but they've been boys okay i mean and then there's been <laughs> there's been two girls i don't want to call them women because they're clearly at that Point in okay, their... so older than Mr. Yes, Cheese. Yes, but, okay. but there's been a guy there a couple times that has two younger, about Cash's age kids. Uh huh. That <clears throat> the the dad has been like. At first, I thought he was just like knew them and like hyping them up, but the second time I saw it, it was kind of fucking creepy. What did you think about that? I, did you even notice, or were you oblivious to that situation? It wasn't like I pointed it out, so it was just something that I saw, and I wasn't like, Great, hey, Cooper, but no, 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 this. I'm, I'm, <laughs> good, good job. I bleep it out. What, good job. What? Um, But no, I, it's, it's situations like that that I do believe they collectively are oblivious to. Um, I don't know if they're oblivious to it, but they're, they don't understand the context of, as we would. But, so yeah, really social situations. Where we notice that things are awkward, but you guys don't notice it. Right. Means that, for one, it probably hasn't happened to you, or if it did, you were just going along with it, which is typical for kids. Right, right. Because like, you're trusting your elders that yeah, yeah. everything's okay. But they're, and both of you are probably going to experience this over the next couple of years. There's going to be times where you're just going to be like, that's fucking gross. No, mm -hmm. fuck off. Whatever. And you're always welcome to call us in those situations yeah. as well. Literally tell him to fuck off. Yeah. Well, don't talk to an adult like that. Like, do you want to meet Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mr. Cheese, what's your favorite thing to do at the gym when you go with Andrew? Work out. Right, right. Specifically what? Work out. That's so vague. He's, he actually, so I keep saying this. He would be such a good football player because he's coachable and that's, like something that you don't really find in their age group. Like, and has integrity. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so we had workout sheets when I was going into my freshman year of high school that it was basically a trust thing. They said, here's what we want you to do. And we want you to tell your reps and your numbers and things like that. And it was all in the honor system. So you could have written that you did. You could walk in and they'd know you didn't do shit all summer. Liar. I feel like that's that's what happens in language arts every single year. Oh, you need to read, yeah. you know, these 10 books over the summer and then everybody comes back. Oh, yeah, I definitely read all 10 of those books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, I've done that before. You I believe just... it because you hate I reading. Read. I know. I know. You're a numbers guy. I get it. I get it. I don't know. It's, Whatever it's you were forced long. to read in school. Yeah. yeah. Which, uh, hey. I saw something, and I was going to present this to you. I saw something where a parent offered, I believe it was $100 per chapter book that the child successfully read and could that. prove that they read, not just, oh, yeah, oh, dad. Uh, I could do that. Oh, I'm not, not, not necessarily a book that. report, you but a, a, mostly could, like a summary. I could do that. Do, like summary. Yeah, do not. You can use Do that not. Hour. Stop. Do not encourage cheating. Anyways, so Cooper, 
specifically, if I were to offer you a hundred dollars, so mean. You know I like reading. Oh, I know you love reading. I could give you a different kind of incentive for a different kind of yeah. item because you, you love to, reading. You have so to work on Einstein's theory of relativity. Right. Wait, yes. Why did so, yes. So, Mr. Cheese, I know that there are going to be several novels that you are going to need to read this fall alone. If you were to read two of them this summer at $100 each, would you do it? No. Please, let, let me... $100 to them is like what $10 most of Wait, can I... Motherfucker. Wait, can I do it for $50? For fifty about for the books that he's supposed to read this right. fall for his accelerated program? No. You do you know the you know all of the books that he's or you're just going off of like, No, I'm just going off of I'm under the assumption that there are going to be several Shiloh? novels. Is Shiloh gonna be one of them? Oh my god, are you kidding me? You That's an elementary school book. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> So um, I happen to know that one of the literature professors that you will have was my AP English teacher uh, junior year um, when I was at high school. Wow. So and she expected so and still she expected so much. No, I and I know for a fact that she's going to be uh, yours. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm already. Luckily, you have, you have a different last name because you don't have your maiden name. So. They wouldn't know him without knowing, like, without you walking in. Right, but I definitely will be walking in, so. <laughs> or maybe I'll go. I'm like, who is this weirdo? No, I'll, I'll be there for the intro night. They haven't even sent it out. Do you think I your know. teachers will remember you? Um, I mean, yes and no. I don't remember any of my teachers. I think if I went back to Indiana, I think once I introduce myself and say my name, she'll definitely. Oh, my gosh. If I if I was at a restaurant and somebody walked up to me and like, Andrew, Mm -hmm. do you remember me? I was your sixth grade language arts teacher. I'd be like, how could I remember you? (laughs) I remember faces forever. So I might not remember their name necessarily or exactly how I know them instantly but i remember a face and I instantly remember. i know this person where do i know them from i can remember classrooms i can remember yeah some of the other students and i can remember i can only various remember. details of some stories i can remember like faces and then buildings you can probably remember buildings yeah, like buildings. what kind of buildings what do you mean like say we're like on a trip yeah yeah, yeah. Like, we pass a place and i like remember you recognize it, even it. Though if it was like Five, six years ago. Okay. That's good. That's good. Situational awareness. Sure, I don't remember the name of a place, but I like no. I've been there. Right. For something. Right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so big. I've been there for something. Yeah. One day. A long time ago. Or yesterday. Who knows? <laughs> yesterday. I should have known. <laughs> Who knows? I've never been anywhere with anything. For any reason. <laughs> All no, right. seriously. The the only ones that I remember. Are the ones that I've seen again as an adult. Okay. Like all of like two. So I remember one because she was my, uh, like the cul-de-sac down the street from me and she had a daughter that was a year younger than me. It was one of my best friends growing up. Okay. So I would remember her. Right. Okay. And the other one that had a cabin next to ours in Michigan. Right. Was the other chemistry professor. Mm-hmm. So those are like the only two that I would remember. Because of close, close proximity to two locations that you would yeah. frequent. Yeah. It's a pretty low standard there, buddy. Yeah, I wouldn't remember. I mean, there might be, there was one guy, he owned Putt-Putt. I'd probably remember him, but he's probably aged like shit. <laughs> Why would you think that? Because he was already aged like shit at that point in time. Ah. If he's even alive. Hmm. Um, Do you know his age? Huh? Do you know his age? Probably close to your grandma's age, maybe oh. older. He's he must be alive. No, <laughs> not necessarily. Um, who else might I remember? I might remember my CAD professor, maybe. Mm-hmm. But he's probably dead because he was he was my grandpa's age. Right. Oh. And he was a raging alcoholic. 
Okay, yeah, he's definitely he would, dead. He would in his coffee mug in our in our CAD class. So this was. Don't you dare say there's. Huh? No. What? 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 Huh? What? <laughs> Do you even know what CAD is? No. Computer aided design. Uh. Okay. Drafting. Okay. Drawing, creating houses. Yeah. It's like The Sims, but more complicated. Yay! Um, I can't even do this. So he was he was friends with my grandpa before that, or they knew each other, worked together, something along those lines. My dad's dad, and um, there was always a, a hint of whiskey in his coffee mug. Lovely. And so when I was a freshman or sophomore, there were juniors and seniors in this class as well, and so you know they were a little bit more versed in what that might smell like. Right. And they would walk up if he wasn't in the room. They walk up and smell real quick. Yep. Yep. We can get away with shit today. Oh my God. I used to have him. I would skip class. I would skip school entirely. And because yep, you could no. have, you can have another teacher sign that you were like in their classroom doing extra Stop work. Stop giving them ideas. They'll figure this out on their own. Don't do it, but they'll. Fig- yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> I will now. Yeah. But will you? This, this is a completely different world though, too, because your teacher could literally just text your mom. Whereas yeah, back in the day, true, true. they would send a note home with you and be right. like, I hope your mom signs it. And then you just give it to your friend to forge your mom's signature. But now, okay, did, that did you used to do that? that? Yeah. Always said that I've never forged a signature in my life. You always see a friend who's it. good at art. Yeah, I, I've i never done that either. Yeah, all the time. Your moral compass is lacking. No. All right, Miss Ingenuity. Miss C, what are you looking forward to this fall, starting seventh grade? The, the weather. Big, you're the big kid in school. Yeah, you are officially the oldest at your guys' school now. The weather. <laughs> the weather. Yes. What kind of answer is that? I hate summer weather. So I'm yes. Oh, fall okay. Weather. <laughs> okay. You're quite literally looking forward to. Fall yes. because <laughs> you want fall. Okay, got it. Oh, and back to school shopping. Back you to school st- shopping. Uh, yes, I know. You still get to pick out a backpack. Do you see how hot it is in Chicago in that area right now? No. It's I'm... like 110 degrees today. Like regular temperature, not real feel. Yuck. Yeah. All right, Mr. Cheese. If you could have any summer job, what would it be? Buffalo oil wings. <laughs> You're not getting a discount. <laughs> You don't know that. You're not. You It'll be that. a discount for employees. I worked at, I worked at Cinnabon wow. for a little while. I worked at Cinnabon and Finish Line. Do you guys know what Finish Line is? No. It's a shoe store. I worked there just to get a discount so I could quit. I, I worked there to earn money to buy shoes, bought my shoes at my discount, and then I quit. Hmm. And then when I worked at Cinnabon. For how long? I don't know. However long it took me to afford the shoes that I wanted, then my parents wouldn't buy for me. No. Yeah. Idiot. If you could pick any <laughs> shoes right now, what would they be? Shoes. Yeah, see... We're not big shoe fans. Well, also brands in general. You guys have never been brand loyal or obsessed no. or keeping up with the Joneses in any way. What? It's just moved away from shoes and now it's bags. And... No. 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 No, 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 Please, no, 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 please no, 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 school no, no. him. No. Tell him how expensive the shoes, quote no. unquote, the shoes that are needed now. No, I'm not. They're like a thousand dollars. I'm talking like the mugs and like all, like it's, it's just a different thing. It's Lululemon at $150 oh, yeah. an outfit plus. It's only one student in my class has Lulu, full Lululemon. Right. It's, it's $200 at minimum. Uh, Nike high top, whatever they're called. Air Force Ones. Yeah, those things. And then like real Converse and right, but though and those go up all the way to like fifteen hundred dollars. The like limited edition. They all wanted the Stanley Cup. Okay, that's like thirty five dollars in the grand scheme of things. That's like pennies compared to the other things. Like you know what I had. Kids these days have high standards, and I am so thankful. I mean, I I wanted all Under Armour when I was a kid. And what? honestly, I, I didn't grow up with any of that. It wasn't an option. So I've kind of instilled that in my children as well of be, th- be, be thankful for what I get you essentially. And if you want to, if you want to yeah, work towards, otherwise, like with technology. If, if you want to work towards something specific, we can talk about that. Um, but that's a conversation that we're going to have. And, you know, if you want to split it 50-50 with me or whatever the case that. may 
<laughs> like like how Chloe wanted that like beanbag chair or whatever. Like again, that it's it was like forty bucks. Your hundred dollar lemonade stand. Okay. Right, right, right. Like work towards it, yeah. and we'll get there together. Actually, the beanbag chair was forty one. Forty one dollars and thirty five cents. And thirty five cents. Thank then, you for schooling me on that. And then we have that. an entire episode about that. I think it's like episode. 20 or 20. Oh, doggy diarrhea yeah. and had to throw away yeah. your oh. bead bag chair that you worked so hard to get and I split with you. I know. Mm. That's the only thing that you got really upset about. <laughs> it's better than her chewing on the house like she used to. Yeah. Now she just but now you have a new chair. The, um, the toy with all the ropes. You should. <laughs> that dog is so ridiculous. Because, so when you're gone... She's so sweet. Yeah, no, no. She, is, she is so Any, sweet. Anytime, the sweetest. Anytime that you're gone, all those toys that are in your room... Mm-hmm, they come down here. They, they end up <laughs> yeah, everywhere down here. I know. We come back and I'm like, Willow, I have to pick <laughs> all of these up and take them upstairs. I can't even carry five of them without dropping at least and then, one. <laughs> she and, doesn't even, and she has like 12. She doesn't even care about her own toys when Character she can snag do. one of the bones away from Whisper <laughs> or the ball. Or Bella's ball. Yeah. Like just carry four at a time. She snags it. No. She snags it. And it's funny. She'll. It's like the. She'll go like this. Even if even if the dog is way over by where you are, she's still like. <laughs> and then she'll. So and then she's gone. <laughs> and it's full blown Scooby Doo. Yeah. The running in place. Yeah. She wants to get there's and the other the dogs are like. There she goes again. <laughs> Whisper's too lazy to go after her, and yeah. Bella's just like. Yeah. Well, no, Whisper's smart enough now and wise enough that she knows it's going to come back down. Yeah. Or a human is going to bring it back to her. She's like, I don't need to put in the effort. <laughs> yeah, too lazy. No, that's not. Lazy. Work lazy. smarter, not harder. No. Yeah. You and Whisper are both the same. Lazy. I'm not lazy. You say we are lazy. No, you're lazy. Well, Mom agrees with us. Guys, she told us in the car. You guys go out of your way to be lazy, though. You like, there's something on the floor and you walk right past and pretend you didn't see it. That's a whole different level of lazy. You do the same. I just don't go to the gym as, no, I just, I see it and I acknowledge it. And then I say, hey, cheese, come pick up this thing off the floor that you just walked past. <laughs> if you're going to call me cheese color chloroform, <laughs> it's either E no, they get a, they get a pick or cheese and chloroform. How about banana? All right, E slash slash Mr. Cheese. Um, yesterday when I was walking into the salon, there was a kid maybe one or two years older than you with his mom. How do you know? I'm I'm just some of these face? kids. He he looked he By looked the face? like he was he looked like he was maybe fifteen. 15 okay, and a half, 16 we at, at pool, most. He was not able to drive. Eight. I know that for a fact because he got out of the passenger seat of his mom's vehicle because we happened to park right next to each other. He was not able to drive. Whether that means he's not licensed, but either way, she drove, he did not. So I was guessing he was about 15 years old. Okay. Anyways, he, I mean, slob kebab to the nines. It was shuffling with the slides, barely eyes open at 10 a.m., cap on, like, cockeyed, holding a bag of Chick-fil-A, walking into the salon to go probably get his hair cut. Was he Broccoli Kid? He was Broccoli Kid, yeah. And mom held the door open for him. And then he, I was directly behind him and he just let the door close right behind him. Just kept on shuffling. No manners, nothing. I at least know that I've instilled in you. If there's somebody behind you, you hold the door open for the person behind you. I mean, this kid was, again, yeah, his he eyes were. Do it the other day because I, I held the door and I thought I was passing the door off to him. Uh-huh. And he just let it slam on the little ones. Oh, my God! Uh, I'm so disappointed in you. Not mad. Just disappointed. I am disappointed. <laughs> so just, all it takes is... I literally just got through thinking in my head yesterday, I have raised cheese to be better than this. All it takes is sticking your arm out and just passing it off to the next person. Right, right. Like, I could... I was, I was about to grab it thinking that's exactly... I mean... It, ew. 
who was taking all the effort holding the the chick-fil-a bag with his one hand his other hand was completely empty mind you he could have you know used his elbow or something no just uh, it was just that uh attitude mom was driving like a 2012 toyota highlander beat to the nine so scratches and dents and taking him to this nice salon to get his broccoli hair cut for him Mm -hmm. and she was looking like she definitely doesn't spend money on herself in any way shape or form and he had all the things i just i don't like that don't like that you should have seen the uh bozo door-to-door kid that i told to fuck off the other day (laughs) how old would you guess that guy to be maybe 18 Oh my god! And he was what a terrible first job or second job. He had, he had like just fucking straight attitude. He like did the whole. Like, when you were like, no, we're not buying what you're selling. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. And he had attitude for saying no. Yeah. I said, "Fuck off oh. and don't come back." <laughs> okay, that's a little bit different than <laughs> what I would do, obviously. Um, He'll, he'll understand one day when he's sitting in his beat down apartment and all the people around him are fucking knocking on his door asking for shit. Can I go to your Wi Fi? And he's gonna be like, I remember that time when I walked on that porch and that dude told me to fuck off. I really should have. I should have found a better profession and made more money. He'll learn. Okay. <laughs> Miss C, what do you want your profession to be one day? I haven't thought about that. You haven't thought about that? That's okay. You're going into seventh grade. You have plenty of I time. You said, I, you told me you wanted to do something. Photography is what you told me. No, yeah. she, she told me that she wanted to follow in Cooper's footsteps. She was going to be an engineer. When what? did I say that? I don't know. Months ago. She's definitely never expressed I that to me. And you said, you said, you said doctor. I, I think my friend wants to be a doctor. I, I could, I you could see you going into the medical field. I, I could. I think photography could be your passion and going. Okay, in. so when I mentioned you doctor, I was talking tour. about my friend. A dog tour, exactly. A vet. <laughs> no. You did, you did briefly say that like a yeah, year ago. And then I thought about it. I was like, nah. Could Honestly, you, you have the where for the where. I cannot talk this morning at all. Where we Yes, and I got no sleep, so I'm just, my brain is okay. um, And I've lost my train of thought, but I could see you as a doctor. No. A doctor, nope. not a dog tour. I could see her being a dog tour. Nope. I, I mean, she just wouldn't do the euthanizations. I disagree to both. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine, and you're welcome to do that. You're going into seventh grade. You have plenty of time should, With all you. this technology, we should just start like tracking and charting this stuff and see who gets around. <laughs> we can put some money on it. Okay. Yeah. Betting on the children. Yeah, that sounds... Uh, uh, betting, no, you're betting on what you think based on who they are today, mm-hmm. what you think they will become mm-hmm. at a period of time. Okay. So if you think that she's going to become a photographer and I think that she's going to become a dog tour. I don't think... I don't think anything at this point in time because I think it's too young to place any bets. So her Cooper's insane. Or maybe when she starts her podcast, she'll be so successful that... We'll be able to retire early and she'll just have but she's going to be a social media influencer. Yeah. Ew. Exactly. Good reaction. Term, right? Ew. Does your generation hate that term? Or digital creator? No, we just say people online. <laughs> people That's online. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, do you hate those terms? Like if somebody told you that they were an influencer, what would you be like? Uh, or would you be like, oh, that's cool. What do you do? Depends on the person. I don't know. Okay, what if it was somebody that you had never met before, but they appeared cool and seemed like maybe they were interesting, and then they said those words, what would your reaction be? Like, they came up and introduced themselves to you, and they're like, hey, I'm so-and-so, and I do this, and I'm an influencer. And they're, like, wearing, like, fancy clothes or something. So, like... Would your interest in them improve, or decline once they told you that they were an influencer it would personally decline for me do you you influence (laughs) these 
I'm looking right at Mr. Cheese on that one. You got uh you want to tell the audience what you have your bedroom bedroom listed as on our home network? D's notes. <laughs> Just play that as an audio so loop. His, yeah, so his speaker. Do his notes. His, his speaker, his lamp, his... Hey, Google, turn off these nuts, is what he says. Sure. <laughs> turn off the Cooper lamp. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> the... <laughs> if you guys didn't hear that, it did it respond. It actually responded to me. It did. Shit. <laughs> Wait, was his lamp on? I don't know. <laughs> Is that turning off? Yeah. Oh I didn't see, um, That's too funny. <laughs> Wait. I don't, I don't, when, these aren't connected to the thing anymore because it didn't. It doesn't work on that outlet. But mm-hmm. um, I don't think it actually checks on and off. It just sends the off signal. Right. So even if it was there's off, no, it would turn yeah, it off again. Yeah. There's no logic. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay. Bringing this up now. Yeah. What did we name the Christmas tree? Plug thing. Santa. I, was, no, I, I thought it was Rudolph. Oh, it was yeah, Rudolph. No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. There's still something on the app that says Santa, and I don't know what it is. What is it? I don't know. Test oh, no. it later. Test it, and then next episode, just say what happened. What's the whole power to the Suspense, house? Suspense, everybody. <laughs> oh, we can't turn off the main breaker like that. Ugh. If you could, there would be so many people getting fucked all the time, because most people. Don't even change the default passwords on their equipment. So you could walk around probably in this neighborhood and probably find five houses that you could connect to their Wi-Fi by typing admin and password. That makes me think of the person who drove around with the Roco remote turning off people's yeah. TVs. Like, yeah. this is a uh, uh, suburban wait, drive-by. Remember, re- just yeah. going by and turning off people's TVs. Remember how I... Could you imagine being in the middle of watching a show and being like, Hello? And you can do it with lasers too. There was oh a there's a researcher from the University of Michigan and one of the YouTubers that I watch, um, not smarter every day. It was um, a Veritasium. They did it. They so there's a sensor mm-hmm. that if you hit it with a laser, it tricks it into thinking it sounds like they send like laser pulses, mm-hmm. and so they were flashing it through a window from the outside and. Telling it to like turn people's heat up and like turn lights on and That's off. That's crazy. With a lit, so there's no sound at all. Mm-hmm. And they were doing it with an infrared laser, so it's invisible to the human eye. So you could, somebody could be out there and just all they have to know is where it's at roughly, and eventually they can hit it, and you'll never know because you'll never see it. Right. You and then you're. Back on? Yeah. But it's just, it's th- the point of it was to tell people, hey, don't put it in there right next to a window because door locks can be controlled with them. So if somebody somebody has their little laser, points at your speaker, and now your front door's unlocked and they walk right in. Yeah, and how do you prove that? Right. <laughs> so at a certain point, maybe a smart home isn't necessarily they, the smartest yeah, they option. they were doing garage doors with it. There was a guy a while back, actually introduced from the same channel, the guy's name is Sammy or something like that. Um, he took a child's toy mm-hmm. and it had a, uh, a little transmitter in it and he reprogrammed it to send every possible code mm-hmm. to a garage door. So he could stand outside your house, push the button one time and it would brute force the code on your garage door and your garage door would just open up. That's terrifying. And there's nothing you can do to stop that because it has such rudimentary technology. So the problem... You're giving people ideas. This is easily, anybody could find this on the internet. These people have probably seen it or heard of it. Or if they have, they've ignored it. (laughs) But like, so the carjacking stuff, for example, Mm -hmm. same thing. It's just a different version of literally the same attack vector. Gotcha. It's just more valuable to jack your car than it is to open your garage and steal your golf clubs. All right. To change the subject. No. Mr. Cheese. What's one question that you could ask me right now? No, with answer. no consequence. Oh. All right, take a minute to think about it. Missy. I, I don't know. 
No consequence. You can ask me anything. Mm. Or, or tell me anything. It doesn't have to be a question. If you want to get something off of your chest. How many of your friends have smoked weed? What? None. <laughs> what? Are you saying the truth or are you saying what you want us to think? Nobody at your school has ever told you, bragged about it. Question. Why? Move whisper. Because you're at the age when people start doing no, that whisper. stuff. No, whisper. Whisper. Nah. But hold on. Whisper. I, 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 w- I was letting them ask me a question or I know, make but a... while, while they're thinking about it, I'm just... <laughs> Go lay down, please. Is the wall oh. blue? Go lay down. No, it's gray. <laughs> That's... Okay, my question was asked. What? And answered. <laughs> Okay. He couldn't think of anything, so he just. What about that. you, Miss C? Um. Nothing. Do you have a, anything to get off of your chest? Mm-mm. Okay. All Has right. anybody at your school bragged about drinking their parents' beer? No. No. No one has. You or school with a bunch or of prudes. <laughs> anybody else's alcohol, not necessarily their parents. No. no. Okay. Um. Have you, Andrew? Took when I was your age? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, my God. What? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't believe that. We <laughs> literally skipped school all the time and smoked weed when I was in high school. Ew. What? Don't, I'm saying don't do it because then you'll end up like me. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Completely okay. avoiding that, then. <laughs> so he's a cautionary tale. Yeah. Don't do what Andrew did. Yeah. What? You can't get away with anything these days. You guys are never going to be able to sneak out like we used to be able to. I never snuck out. Whatever. I didn't. I lived in a two-story historic you never, home. You never... Just moving in your own bedroom would cause floorboards to squeak. There was no sneaking out. (laughs) Yeah, it's just and every step of the one step, right? And every step of the stairs, yeah, squeak, squeak. Yeah, no, there's no sneaking out of a two-story historic home. You would go in and out through like the windows in the basement. We didn't have a basement. Oh, I know, but I'm explaining because you've been to my childhood home. But those windows upstairs. That my parents put in when they remodeled the house. Because they used to have like the kind of like this. But then they went to those like butterfly d- windows. Mm-hmm. But because of the width of the panel and how they they don't like swing out at like the hinge part like this. They swing out kind of like towards the middle. Mm-hmm. So there was no room to get out through many of those windows. So you either had to go out through a basement window or through a door. Your life is so hard, Andrew. No. But it was... So difficult. Well, it, so if, difficult. If I did successfully sneak out, there was a 50-50 chance that my parents would know and they would lock the door behind me so I couldn't get back in. Good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so I had a whole intricate path a lot of times where I would go out through the kitchen, through the side door of the garage, through the back door of the other garage, onto the deck, and then out through the gate. Have you guys ever considered sneaking out? No. I mean, no, but like, what? <laughs> I mean, like, I kind of am able to because of Willow having to go to the bathroom. Oh, so tonight. like pretending that you're walking Willow, but really you're running away? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? She's sneaking out, thing out her, her friend. No, I said I kind of am able to, but I wouldn't because that means last time so she Willow. Says now. Plus also, <laughs> that's what you where would now. Chloe go in the first place? Yeah, where, right. would, yeah, where would you go? You're going to have a friend by the time you're Cooper's age. Who's already driving. Mm-hmm. I can't trust any of my parents to drive. Mm. I said older than you. You're going to have like a, you're going to be 14. You're going to have a 16 year old I hate talking friend. to people that are older sure, than me. okay. Because yeah. you, you want to go to the same school that you're he's gonna going be, to. You're going to be friends with his So parents. you're going to, yeah. But no. Yes, you will. No. Yes, yeah. You will. No. I, no. Honestly, give it another year. Younger. And you guys are going to have all a big group together. Younger girls always like the... Within like one or two years. Oh my god! Like you your brother drive. is like. Can you take oh my me to god! The mall? Like, can we like hang out with your brother? Gross. Like, oh my god! Can you take me to the mall? Can you take me to the movies? Oh um, yeah. 
My mom and said that. And then Mr. Said, Cheese will be going through driver's ed a year from yeah. now? Yeah. Because you'll be 15. That's when yeah. you can you go. To, is it 15 or 15 and a half? 15. 15 is when you can get your driver's permit. So I think you can actually do driver's ed before that. I don't remember because I did driver's ed late. I was already. How are you going to hold the steering wheel? 15, I think. Show me with your hands how you're going to hold the steering wheel. At the, at the bottom. That's a tractor. Oh, my God. Yeah. The right, yeah. <laughs> I'm the exact same thing. I'm just puttering on them tractors. We had a, we had a little, uh, like a, I don't even know what it was, like a knob. Mm-hmm. It was attached to this, like, little U-joint thing. Yeah. So you could go like that, and so you could, like, turn faster. It was before zero turns. Sorry, right I'm still thinking about driver's ed. I'm going to have to sign you up for that probably next spring. Actually, no. Dad said uh, that he's probably able to do it this fall. No. Mm, when, that's no. that's too when early. I, when I talked to the people when we did the the walkthrough orientation thing or whatever, um, the, the sign-up opens for the entire school district mm-hmm. in March. Yeah. And it's basically filled up for the school. Yeah, I already know I'm going to have to put you in the private driver's ed that's like over there i'm so using he, my head he'd to... be able to sign up in march but he wouldn't be able to start until he hits the yeah age okay, so this fall, unless is, maybe they yeah, do this fall is not an option maybe they'll let you do that like is the already classroom y'all work. pardon there's like classroom work and stuff i didn't take driver's ed so i don't yes, know yes there is classroom work i didn't have to be you have to you have to pass paper tests before they'll even allow you into the vehicle with the instructor and then you have to do what x does amount a of stop sign mean you have to do x <laughs> amount of hours well they like go over scenarios signs, yeah. i remember like having to walk around with my class on like busy intersections and documenting um like documenting, documenting how many distracted drivers we saw like people wow. eating while driving people talking on their phone while driving um, I remember like all we had to spend several hours of quote unquote classroom work first, no. but I did it through the public school system. So I do feel like going the private route is probably more accelerated than that. Maybe. But so for, for our audience, I didn't have to take driver's ed because at least at that time in Indiana, your parents could sign a sheet that said that you did whatever number of daytime driving, whatever number of nighttime driving hours. And because I was totally driving legally and illegally for years and years and years prior, both you know, dirt roads up in Michigan, like right. Forestry Roads. Right. And I learned how to ride a dirt bike with training wheels. Yes, you tell us this story yeah. all the time. So like the first time that I got into a car, there was a manual transmission. And they were like, this is what you got to do. I was like, I know. And it literally had absolutely no issues. I don't think I've ever stalled ever. Meanwhile, ever. I learned how to drive on a minivan. Oh my god, we love minivans. What was my? <laughs> it may... I'm trying to figure out what my. It my was, mom's um, had to drive in my Explorer, but I think she had her Explorer when I took my test. Don't they test. normally do like smaller carts than minivans? Oh no, no, I mean that's what grandma had at the time. Usually it's whatever the person owns. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I had to take my driver's license test in a minivan. In a minivan. You guys are yeah. when you're doing your hours, you're gonna have to be driving. My truck, your mom's suburban. We are not taking mom's <laughs> car. Yeah, you guys can get to do it, an Andrews. Yeah, uh, I mean, in Andrews Andrew. Bucky. Remember, yeah, we're yeah. calling it a Bucky now. This is FYI. We, we learned just about, learned we this about African an hour word. ago. Yeah. Yep, that is what South Africans call trucks, oh. Buckies. No, I'm calling it a trash truck now. <laughs> <laughs> a trash truck. Why trash I mean, truck? we put the recycling in there. Oh. So a recycling truck. <laughs> Trash truck. I want to call it the rolling turd. He said yeah. he told how to spell it, but we, oui, but I, I want to get okay. it right. I remember there was a K in it, not a C, and it's not spelled Bucky, is like the yeah. gas station. It was, place. Like, it was like Bucky. Oh, that's wrong. This is like the politician, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, forever it's gonna be a Bucky now. What do South Africans call trucks? B A K K I E. Like I said, yeah. I He's, remember there were K's the, in it. The way he feet. said it, he was like, I think you guys call him a truck. And I was like, <laughs> are we really that separate <laughs> in the same language? Yeah. They literally don't use the word truck. It doesn't exist there. It's a Bucky. Yeah. You're going to go get in your Bucky. 
Yep. Not buggy, but bucky. With a not southern not southern accent. Yeah. But I'm gonna say it with a southern accent, even though I don't have yes, a southern yes, accent remember, because uh, that's how it sounds to me. You guys remember watching Chappie? Like Chappie. three three years ago we watched Chappie. That robot movie? <gasps> no. Yes. That's literally his life yeah. without the robot. Yeah. No. Like, yeah. could you imagine? The robot has to be there. They, could you imagine that that is your day to day? Like, if you walk having out, an armored car, yeah, essentially. To walk to, outside to get the mail from your own mailbox, you have to go out there with a gun to make sure you're not going to be, be killed in a neighborhood like this. That's insane to no. me. Yeah. I cannot imagine. There'd be somebody out here right now with a shovel digging up the front yard to try and steal copper out of the grass. And when you walk out there to get your mail, they'll just kill you. Yeah. That's what they're. That's what their entire country is like right now. No, thank you. Cannot imagine. Yep. So, does yeah. that put into perspective how good your life is? Yes. You didn't sound very enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mr. Cheese over there didn't even respond. His eyes just like barely flickered. No, because he, he's always had an infatuation with firearms. He's like, I want to go there just so I can help. <laughs> You need extensive training I'll, to be able to I will. Help. I will fix the problem. I will fix the problem. <laughs> Murder them all. What? No. <laughs> Too far. And what? 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 Because you have all uh, your, like, your Nerf armory and... Just throw them That's all into nerf. a ditch. So? Nerf. You still, you still, like, patrol around and... I've seen you doing, like, the... Like, the, um... Nerf oh is God. supposed to be... A like adult and kid. Gun yeah, you guys had an like awesome nerf war with, the other day <laughs> with each other. It's because I'm tactically brilliant. Tactically brilliant. Yeah. And only rolled my ankle a little bit. I know he was hurting. He was hurting for like three days after. It was like my ankle still hurts. I'm yeah. old. I set up an you ambush on old. his birthday, and I, they were closing the garage door. They they knew something was up. Because he they, left a note. <laughs> they were closing the garage door. My my goal was to Dadger. get in the garage. So I had to <laughs> I had to run to try and get over the beam so that I could come up from behind them and yeah, rolled my ankle just a little bit. No, 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 no. Here, here's the thing. Chloe was, Here's the thing. Chloe was the one that was trying to stop me from trying to see if there was any ambush that was possible. And I knew that yeah, self, was, you're not an I idiot was, and cash is a war. And Cash is a war lover, so you I being say not a war an lord. That's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> no, <laughs> Cash being a war lover. War <laughs> no, he's You're a war lord. No, we, we we have changed it. He's officially so I a war knew lord. that you could have Actually, done something. So you know, like, and also you rolling your ankle. I do that all the time, and yet I always just keep walking back up. With, it's because yeah. you're so young you're and old. spry. Yeah. You're able to bounce back. We're old and decrepit. No. <laughs> so you know, like, oh, you, my back. You know, yes. Like, yes. So my shoulder. I still can't move my shoulder and barely can move my neck. <laughs> you know, like back Being in ancient, sucks. ancient times, <laughs> yeah. when, like, you know, like a king's, like the heir could literally, like the prince could literally be like eight when he like takes over power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Joffrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That would be cash. Yeah, I could see that. You'd make the worst decisions, though. Oh, my God. For sure. He'd be like, who's going to give me the best you. food and who's going to give me the best yeah. drink and I'll make my decision based you, on... And then when it comes remember to... remember your young days? And when, oh, my back? God. When it, comes to, when it comes to war, if Cash was like a ruler or whatever, he'd be like, we have 10 soldiers. They have 20. Let's attack them. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Numbers don't always matter. Yes, they do. No, they don't. It, I mean, it also involves the technology China has, you have. China has about four times more people than we do, and we would wipe the fucking map with them. Oh, it wouldn't even. It wouldn't even be close. It's brains, and the things you have. Okay. Strategy, technology, equipment, training. Yeah. We have ten people and ten guns. They have twenty people and twenty guns. And still win. Haven't you ever watched a movie? Ever? I've watched a movie before. <laughs> yeah, we've all watched movies before. With, with the like... proper training, one man can take out several. I mean, there's we have stories in our own military history. 
Like there's stories of guy. I think Audie Murphy like held off like 200 people by himself. Maybe maybe a hundred. I don't know, but a lot. Like real people that served in our military, like World War II. One guy mowed down hundreds. It's possible. Yeah. Okay. I, I remember I, like I, YouTube, I, like I remember like YouTube videos like that. Well, yeah, but that's but not really. Not everyone can do it. There have there have to be sacrifices. That's why you have the Marines. They're the sacrificial <laughs> lamb, according yeah. to the army. They 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 brag about being the first ones into the fight. There's a reason. <laughs> we wanna we want you to eliminate as many as possible, but you're kind of our pawns. I mean that's basically how it is in chess. You, we, you have to move the pawn first before you can move any other one behind it. No, the, uh, not, not the rook, but the, the knight. Just a pawn. The knight can jump. The what? knight, the knight's able to jump yeah. past the pawns. That's possible. Yeah. It just like the rook, the bishop, the queen, and king cannot yeah. move without the pawns being moved. It's only the knight that can move beforehand. Do you know how to play chess? Yes. Yes. You want to play me? No. No. Why not? I I was in chess club in middle school. I've yeah, literally enough. never played chess in my entire life. I was really it's good so at it. fun. I used to know all the There's little... There's nothing fun about it today. Yes, it is. I used to know all the strategies to like basically win right out the gate against somebody that doesn't know anything. Like all the proper... Well, it's a game of moves. manipulation, correct? Sure. Yeah. I mean, basically. And that interests me in, zero. And in strategy. And strategy. Yeah. Strategy and manipulation. The other game that I never like, wanted to play was Stratego, which was also about strategy like and, manipulation. and manipulation. And luck, and luck, and you had a higher number soldier. No, nope. when, when I play tic tac toe nope. with these guys, so you guys, when I play tic tac toe, can play with these your guys, manipulative mind games. So Stratego and I will stay was far away from that. Risky had strategy in it and a couple of other things. That's what that was. Chess is different. Hmm. Because chess, instead of having like a certain soldier, mm -hmm. chess is you can move a couple of spaces depending on what that piece was. Stratego is you can only move one space, right? One time, but that soldier has a random number, making a random rank. Have you ever played if, Go? If you have a higher number than the other player, then you win. Have you ever played Go? Fish. Just Go. Yeah. No, no Go Fish. I don't know what Go is. It's a Chinese chess kind of game then of course not then no none of <laughs> us have ever heard of it, it it's communist con it's considered it's okay so just like fireworks people say they're communist they were literally invented before china was communist but yes they are communist now my buddy was like well that makes it makes it retroactively communist but um it's you have like two so you have black and white uh they're like mancala pieces kind of okay and it's this i'll play mancala with you guys it's this no. Grid. What? You're over Moncala? Yes. I would Lame. smoke all of you. I'm so good at these games. But yeah, it's it I don't know I don't even know how to explain it because I've never played it before, but I've seen it and I know that like Oh, you're talking about a game you've never played anyway. It's regarded move on. it's regarded as like the most difficult like that's what anytime anytime some company's bragging about their newest best AI and robot, that's what they are like it could beat the best human player. That's the bar. It's, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you think of any other game like that that people would compare a robot to? What are you guys doing? What is he doing? I don't know. Were you whispering sweet nothings into the no. microphone over there? There's going to be like, there's going to be like phantom noises. So yeah. it's going to be us talking. Be like, <laughs> no, no, no! It's not. I'm not saying it needs the microphone. No, it's like the it's a it's a metal part on the Mac. Oh, it, on the mic. Mac. No, no, no! It's the reflective <laughs> part. I'm just looking at my eyes. <laughs> sure, you are. Okay. All right. Somebody, somebody got a little too much sleep. Yeah. Well, we'll are you sure you're not on drugs? No. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to disclose right now? <laughs> are you sure? Okay. Which we have to ask. We have, as your parents, we have to ask. We have to know. You got a full 12 hours. I am jealous. Uh. What time did you wake up? We got him out 11. of his room at 11. Yeah, <laughs> I, actually 11 o'clock. I woke up going. 
what's going on? To be 14. There's going to be somebody listening to this and they're going to be like, you guys like to sleep in too long, Trump? No, not not normally. I literally have never slept past 9 a.m. That was the latest I had ever oh. slept in my entire life. And somebody, that was one time when I was like Somebody was mad at you 14. in the episode when your friend was over. Why? Does they said you're you're disrespectful? You're gonna go nowhere in life. Oh, and, that person. Yeah. yeah. In the comments, they're like, "You should teach them manners." And then somebody else is like, "You should ask them to explain what an amort- amortization schedule is and have them file your taxes. And if it comes back from the IRS, then they owe you their life savings." What? He was basically saying because you said we're dumb, that you know nothing. And so that we should make fun of you by making you do tasks that even we don't do. Wow. Such. <laughs> well, I strongly disagree with those Creative commenters. People. <laughs> I think that having open communication, good dialogue with your children is important. Open and I disagree that they are disrespectful. I thought, I thought they just walk around grumbling and moaning and you just know when to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> You make them sound like gremlins. <laughs> You're not supposed to give them food after midnight. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Yo, we can't go up. We, we can't go downstairs to get a midnight snack. He shuffles into the kitchen. Oh. Okay, cheeseburger? Oh. No? Pizza? Huh? That sounds like our dinner conversation tonight. <laughs> what, where do you want to pick to go to dinner? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like he knows what he's going to say, and then he's just like, now time to be a Minecraft villager. Huh. <laughs> 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 Are you being an NPC? Is that, did I say no, that correctly? Minecraft, Minecraft villager. Well, he was they, like moving like robotically. Yeah, because that's what Minecraft villagers oh. do. Oh. Yeah. They, they have their arms crossed always. Actually, it's like long okay. sleeves and then it's like that. There's a term for that. Okay. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play video games, obviously. No, I meant like, it's like those uh, monk, pull it up. those like monk thingies. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. You know what you're talking about. Sure you do. You know all about Minecraft, don't you? No, I'm visualizing what a monk robe looks like. I know what you're talking about, based now on what only, you just described. Now I'm only thinking of uh, what's that? What's that movie called? What like movie? Kung Fu Monk. Kung Fu Panda. No, well, sure, but no. <laughs> you well, said no, Kung Fu Monk. The, the little, the little old rabbit had one too. The... I can't. There's a glare. I had that light above. Oh my god! It looks like somebody has a box over their head. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> can you guys play that? It's... Yeah. It's, it's barely more than 8-bit, 16-bit gaming, but that's kind of the point. It's a, as far as like programming and develop, there's, I mean, there's more. Involved. I know. He just got through making an entire server for you guys. Again. Well, migrating it from one device to the other. Yeah. Mr. Cheese, how did that make you feel when you. He logged on and immediately logged off. What? <laughs> Yeah, I saw it when I was when I was tweaking stuff. I saw it in the logs. I showed him how to get into it, and then by the time I got back down here, it said he logged off. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't want it? No, I didn't want to play. Oh, you wanted oh. to play the other game. What other game? No, I wasn't even playing on the computer right afterwards. Sure. We know yeah. everything. We know everything. I should show you one day what I can see. I think that will creep you out. Yeah. So maybe don't. It's, no, 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 do, no. So it's do. No, no. Oh, so, so that you can figure out how to bypass it? You, you won't be able no. to. It's impossible. Yeah. It's, so it, here's the thing. When you understand first at their age what we can see, mm-hmm. you'll also be able to understand what the ISP, like AT&T, can see and what the government can see. And then you're like, okay, maybe I should take security just a little bit seriously. Like, mm-hmm. Maybe I shouldn't text my friend my password. Oh, yeah, definitely don't ever do that. Maybe I shouldn't shouldn't take a picture of my social security card and text it to my parents. Yeah, definitely don't Uh, do that either. Why would I do that? There's going to be people. You're going to go apply for your first car loan or something, and the salesman's going to be like, just take a picture and send it to me. No. Never. No. Take the physical copy to them. 
Old fashioned, always. Use this app, it's secure. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's, as soon as somebody says that, it's already been hacked and you just don't know. Which you guys won't have access to any of that until you turn 16. I've already told you guys that. Yes, what? Yeah. Access to what? All of their documents, oh. bank accounts, everything. Do you even know where they are? Yes, I have all of that. Everything is in my possession. <laughs> you know where mine are? No. No, that's not my job. My social security card sitting right there. I can see it. Well, uh, <laughs> what? What? That's, oh, hey, 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 uh, Chloe, give, give it to me. <laughs> poor organization skills on your it part. It was under my desk. I it used to be in my safely wallet. Safely secure everything. When I when I used to carry a old school leather wallet, it was in my wallet and right. on my person. Right. But now that I have that one that you gave me, that right. metal one. Right. Don't put paper in it. It'll destroy. Yeah. But no, I've already told them that when they turn 16... I will hand over their bank account to them. Mm -hmm. Social security card. What about my mom? My, you my don't account. want your birth certificate at that point. Do you have a bank account for me? No. What? How come you put money in accounts for them and not for me? That's not fair. Because they're my children That's and it's fair. their savings. So? And I've already told them that when they're 16, so? if they want to put forth that money towards a vehicle or whatever the don't case may be. Don't crash my car. Mm. Yeah, I kind of need it. I'll, I will need it. I'll, I'll think what? about it. Wait, when you turn 16, he'll still be living here? Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, tw they're exactly 20 months apart. Yeah. So when she turns 16, yeah, so gonna he will not be 18 we're yet. We're going to be screwed for... Well, no, they can <laughs> suffer. They can share a car. Wait. Well, that... Especially if they're going to go to the same high school... But they're not going to want to do the same things, the same activities, and no, that Except is. Except he likes to stay in the house unless he actually picks up a job. Yeah, so he's oh, gonna, he definitely. He's going to hide the keys. <gasps> no. How'd you know? Uh, see? No, it'll be okay. So have I you, didn't have. Have you looked have... in his drawer, his desk, and in, in his room? I was no, looking... I don't. I don't snoop in his stuff. No, I was looking for something when I was organizing the cables. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for those outlets because I, like hers was in her drawer and I remember that it was yesterday because I told her to put it in there. Mm -hmm. Actually, and no, you gave it to me and said, put it away somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was looking and I opened up his drawer looking for the, the outlet switch thing. Okay. And it's just full of Nerf bullets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I know Except that. there's only one door. I know that you bought. Tons of them for both. Him it was and like a five hundred pack. Yeah, the Ca last one that Cash I bought. Cash has like three in their mangle. <laughs> they're in his Lego no. uh, box. Cash has lost them all. No, no, no. What, they what split it's for so that I could just have a small Nerf gun just in my drawer, just go. No, he your split. desk drawer is full of Nerf bullets, yeah. just in case. No, yeah. Andrew, he's split the bullets. I opened it up, and they were just. Perfectly... I thought you were going to tell me something really disturbing. I was oh. literally mentally preparing to find like used socks or some other disgusting thing, no, and it's the, Nerf bullets. They were so perfectly organized. Rows. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're I appreciate you. Are you going to cry? Mom, no. The other <laughs> drawer, although I was the preparing for I, the worst. <laughs> the one thing I still need to do is uh, my other drawer just has a bunch of random stuff. Has my old phone case, all my deodorants. <laughs> How many deodorants do you have now? Do you even Food use rappers. deodorant? Three. Three <laughs> sticks of deodorant. But do you even use any of them? Oh, and there's Are you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's one in the bathroom, too. Good. <laughs> Good. And I have a whole Costco pack in the laundry what room heck? just in case for when you run out. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not running. I almost Every bought you a pack of razors the last time I was at Costco. <laughs> the quick Do you have any? You have any whiskers? He ha he has he has the little hairline. The is little it the, is it the blonde ones though? Yeah, or? the blonde ones. Right. So they don't need to be shaved yet. Well, if you want your mustache to grow in Ew. dark, Ew. start shaving it now. Ew. I was going to wait until you actually ask for me to buy. You should practice when you're not in school so that when you have nicks and cuts, you don't go to school and people are like, because that's, somebody's going to know that you were shaving and you nicked your face. It'll be like uh, Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. <gasps> well, I was, I was dry shaved, so my face is basically just 
Yeah, but he does like seven whole whiskers on his cheeks. No, no, I'm saying even before that, before I was growing a beard, I always dry. I I almost never use shaving cream. Mm. I just wake up, water, shave, and that's it. And depending on. But also, don't take your personal hygiene tips from him because I would not recommend that to anybody. I'm the poster child. Absolutely, fuck not. When was the last time you showered, Andrew? Yesterday. No. Yeah. That is incorrect. No. That is true. factually incorrect. Mom, you know how many stuffed animals I already have in my room that are out yes. in my room? I have another full drawer of stuffed animals that are even out. It's okay. At can some we, point, you're going to be over them. Can we create and, an effigy? Oh, and and can I have a save? Like a save? Them? Can I have a no. save? A save? Yeah. What, yeah. Do you, what do you need a save for? Like the literal $160 just stuck in my drawer. Like... It's well, just sitting it there. Any yeah. no, anyone could just go. His wallet do you is want, falling apart. Do you want to put it in your bank account? I've already asked you that. That's no, what a uh, bank account is for. No. Uh, okay. Why? No, you can uh, you can pull it back out when you. I want to I want to teach you something very valuable about banks in this situation. It's a, it's, there's a saying, you've probably heard this, but there's a better version. Just like how I always told you guys, practice makes permanent, does not make you perfect. Yeah. You've heard a penny saved is a penny earned. That's a lie. A penny saved is a penny taxed. Except That's, in your savings account, it does accrue interest. So that you're taxed on at a certain point. Putting that money into your savings account would accrue interest. It would just be a couple pennies a month, but that's money that you earn for it just being in your bank account. Yeah, and then if you actually invest it and then you take it out, you're taxed on anything you gain. You're even actually taxed on, if you become a criminal and you steal anything, you're taxed on what you stole. So I'm dead serious. If you go and rob a bank and... Don't become a criminal. Yeah, you go and rob a bank and steal $1,000, you're taxed on that $1,000 that you stole. You I have to... Yeah, I just like to tax. take these $1,000. There's a line, uh, there's a line on your taxes that you have to actually claim. Also, we are not burning my stuffed animals. <laughs> Why not? Wait, what? <laughs> he said that while Loose you guys were your... talking. <laughs> I said, can we make an effigy and burn it? We were obviously having a cross-communication. Hey. <laughs> I was talking to Cooper and you were talking... I'm sorry. To cheese, and you were talking to Aww. C. I know I messed up too. <sighs> Bleep me out. Can't. I'm not going to ever do that. Well, then remember. <laughs> no, you guys have to watch the whole video. Okay. And like, I'm saying, like, scrub through it and find clips for us. And I can put it on the new NAS. And I've said his name multiple times already. Right. Well, thank you, Cheese and C, or chloroform. E. Chloroform. Right, chloroform, chloroform and Cheese, chloroform. or C chloroform. and E, and banana. is what they requested to be called. I have not been somebody's gonna Somebody's going to read the transcript and not listen to the audio and think that we have like seven, <laughs> seven, seven kids friends. with really weird names. No, invisible friends. Oh my God, not... yes. Invisible friends. Like we watched Peace If sense. last night. So, yes, this is perfect. And I nailed. The entire, like, right from the onset. I literally fell asleep the last 30 minutes, so I have no idea how it ended. Do you want to know? Are you going to watch it? I'll never watch it again, no. It was way Brian, boring. Brian, Brian Reynolds. Was invisible. He was yeah. a made-up made character. Yeah. And I knew he was, right from the onset. Mm -hmm. What would his name be again? Brian Reynolds' Keith? character? Keith? No, Keith was Brad Pitt. Oh, because oh, he was the, the invisible guy. Yeah. yeah, I heard invisible, and that's who I started to of. Which I posted that, and people were like, oh my god. You're so right. <laughs> oh my god, you're so smart, Andrew. I am. He loves it when people online tell him that he's so smart. Yeah. Because I don't tell him that every day, and it makes him so sad. No, you don't no, give me a pat should, on the back or anything. You should be not telling him he's so smart every day. He has to, to work do, for it. You have to yeah. do what angry what angry cop says. Good job. Good job. Okay, <laughs> you can do that to yourself. The pat on the back. So he, when he's talking to people okay. virtually. When my, when my teachers say pat yourself on the back, I actually go. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> no, fuck her. If you guys could see what she's doing right now, yeah. it, she made wings with her arms. You look like a, to... <laughs> you look like a deranged monkey. Yeah. Ready to Who does that? It's. <laughs> no, you do this. That's weird. You move your You're making like... wings with your arms. Hand on the back. Good no, that's okay. I don't like, need a pat on the back. Or any like that. <laughs> that's funny. Or yeah. like. Okay. No, what are you doing? <laughs> You're giving yourself a hug. Aww. He's like a Aww. fucking contortionist over here. What are you doing? Can you put yourself in a box? Can we put you in that cabinet right there? No. <laughs> Wait, it has shelves in it. No, you can. No, not that it, one. No, if, that Chloe, one has a whole if Chloe was more we'll flexible, we could just put you straight in a cabinet. Just that cabinet right there. You could just. She's, right. she's, okay. the, she's the character. Um, who's the little girl? Well, I guess actually Wolverine um, or Logan. The movie Logan, the Wolverine's um, daughter. Yeah, what about it? That'd be like Chloe, because like, she's so small and light. Spider monkey jumping across the room will <laughs> flash onto you. And it was like five years ago that I saw that movie with you. The movie. Four years ago. We watched it together when we first got together. So it's that was 2020. It's a good movie. We need four to, years ago. We, we, so we, we rewatched uh, Deadpool 1. Wasn't this episode just ending? Yeah. Yeah, I was oh. saying thank you, and then he's continued. Yeah, but we're, so we <laughs> yeah, need, yeah, 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 two, yeah, but, yeah. Deadpool but. 2 and Logan, we need to watch before Deadpool 3. That's high expectations for the next four and a half days before it comes out. We can watch one of them out. tonight. Yeah, That's Chloe, okay, you're I'm good. So, you're so tiny and light that... This episode is ending now. Around as are, we going, right. are we going to opening night? Yeah. Um, opening night, opening yeah. night, opening night. Yeah, that's already the plan. Thursday, opening okay. night for the movie. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. yeah, we are. Okay. That's already the plan. I was already going to suggest that we buy tickets when we go out today. I was just buying them through their website. No, because then no. you have to pay a convenience fee. We're already going to so? be out today. No. I... no, don't pay more. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Don't pay more. Yep. I don't want to go to the theater. So <laughs> I walk, I, walk. we would literally pull up, jump out, and get the tickets. Sure. Yeah. You could wait in the car in the AT. Bye. We'll have our family exactly. discussion without you. Exactly. Mm-hmm.